All right, this is Waku Radio, and we're at the Huddle Up NFL A event. And today's guest is, please introduce yourself. Uh, Kim Couture. Kim Couture. That's a badass name. I like it. It's like a fighter's name. I am a fighter. Are you really? Retired pro fighter. Oh, shit, for real. And then, uh, was it MMA or? MMA. So Randy Couture is my ex-husband. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I built the Extreme Couture brand. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. Wow. So nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm starstruck. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you come to this event often, or I've been one other time. Okay, is uh, did Heather invite you to it, or okay, okay. How, what you, what's your thoughts about the whole event? Oh, I think it's great. I've met a lot of great people, and um, it's good to see that this is all coming together. Looks is there something that makes this event stand out more than other networking events? I think it's classy. I like the space. I don't like to go to events where you're crowded. I went to one the other night. We're all crowded, and they're like little sardines, like. <laughs> I love this venue. Um, it's just a classy event. It's well organized. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. And then you said you uh, started a whole couture business, right? What is that exactly? Oh, uh, well, back in the day, I started the Extreme Couture brand. Uh -huh. So I was fighting. My ex-husband, Randy, was fighting. And um, I started the gym first. I also did one up in um, Vancouver, Washington at the same time. And then I franchised them out. So we were all over the world. Mm -hmm. My largest one being in um, Toronto. Oh, Toronto, okay. Canada? 60,000 square feet. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then I started the uh, clothing line, and then we did a suit line. We did action figures for the UFC. We did supplement line. I had a management company, and then I put on fight. I was a fight promoter as well, too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So just what, a few things. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. But what, so when when somebody is scaling their business at the very beginning of like their journey, what are some tips that you can actually provide? Well, I was in a unique situation because it was when the uh, UFC did the um, Ultimate Fighter on Spike, if you guys remember, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. fight Spike fans. Yeah. So it went mainstream. Mm -hmm. So we surfed that wave. Uh, you know, we were, besides the Tap Out t-shirt brand, we were the first brand in MMA. Mm -hmm. And the, I was the first one to do a gym with all five disciplines under one roof. Wow. Because oh, we used to have to go over here for boxing, over here for wrestling, over here for jujitsu, over, you know, strength and conditioning with some players else right. across town. So you just combine. I everything. put it all under one roof because in the beginning of the UFC, it was one dimensional fighters. It was the boxer versus the wrestler, yeah. the kickboxer versus the jujitsu. Right. Yeah. So I, and, and nobody believed in me. Everybody was like, including Randy, he was like, these guys don't, these coaches don't get along. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to go for this, you know? And, uh, I was like, if you pay the best coaches in the world, enough money, mm -hmm. they will come yeah, and they're going to work together and we're going to build like the ultimate fighter. Yeah. Right. So, so then people started to become well-rounded and learn all the disciplines and now look at where we are now. Right. So you kind of paved the road for like mixed martial arts. To make it well-rounded, right. yes. And then I was one of the first girls in MMA, so I was out there pounding the pavement trying to open doors, and they were like, nobody wants to watch girls bloody and fighting. Oh, that's it will never take off, including Dana back right. in the day. Girls will never fight in the UFC. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to see a girl's face bloody. Mm -hmm. And my fights were some of the bloodiest fights out there. So That's awesome. So um, here we are today, and uh, I think the girls put on better fights than the guys, to be honest. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I, I love the girl fights. That thing gets me going, so I, I'm a huge fan. I they're there to fight. You know, some yeah. people go out there, and they're, they're there to not lose. Mm -hmm. You know, I was excited because I knew what I was there for. You know, people want to see a fight. They yeah. don't want to see you dance around and play defense. Right. Mm -hmm. Get yeah. out there and get after it. So. Man, that's badass. Any other questions? Uh, so... One of our mottos is embrace the fearless and in your field of work and everything growing and it's growing up and you have seen all that like what do you do to uh counteract that fear like how do you overcome it i think i was born with that gift because i grew up on a ranch <laughs> mm. uh -huh. and my dad raised me like a, i was a tomboy and i was breaking horses at a very young age and rodeoing at a high level and um i've just never had any fear i think the only thing on earth that scares me is maybe sharks that's it <laughs> <laughs> anything else like i just i have no fear i ride a motorcycle i race i do all kinds of crazy stuff so um yeah getting punched in the face it's just an acquired taste mm -hmm. you train you're ready there's there's nothing that you haven't seen by the time you step in that octagon so yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, is there anything you want to plug in before we uh, close this out? You know, I, I manage a gym in Town Square now. It's called Gax Fitness, and I do a lot of personal training, group training, stuff like that. So anybody that wants to come get in shape. I, I crossed over when I retired from fighting into bodybuilding. So uh, 
you know, from prepping for shows to just regular get in shape or, you know, booty classes, you name it. <laughs> nice. I like I like things simple now. So I keep a, a good pace with that and uh, I'm enjoying life. So awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you. And uh, we'll let you uh, get back to the event. Awesome. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? We're at an NFLA event huddle up. Check out our new um playlist that's going to be coming out it's going to be on the same channel we're not creating a new channel for this uh keeping it all in-house but um we have a lot of new things coming out for you guys entrepreneurship uh investors bitcoin guys uh who else have we had on here we had a kid kidpreneur on here eight years old yeah, this is basically going to be like a motivational series, basically, you know, people have all sorts of walk in life and, you know, like all sorts of businesses that are running all ages. And uh, it's just going to, you know, maybe hopefully inspire you to, you know, take the bull by the horns. Yeah, absolutely. So, man, yeah. So what we want to do for you is offer you guys value besides our entertainment, our entertainment content, which is highly, highly controversial, apparently, for a lot of people. But that's not us all the time. We are also very business minded and we want people to improve in their life because living Wahoo means living life fearlessly. And that just means that you have to embrace the fearless everywhere you go. Yeah, it's not just like in one aspect of your life. It's all aspects of your life. You want to embrace the fearless, you know, just like that thumbs up right there. You saw that? Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't have to even do it. It just does it for me because, you know, I'm a beast. <laughs> I have no idea why it did it. <laughs> are you the same animal but a different beast? Yeah. Or is it a different animal, same beast? Oh. oh, yeah. Look, we know magic now. See? We live life fearlessly. Is it going to work? Oh, that's not... oh, doesn't work this time. All right, whatever. Anyways, enjoy the episodes. Check me out. Uh. Life of a you see me on the road. I'm in hustle mode. Real estate mogul. Commercial real estate.